This is the season of holidays and gathering at tables, although this year it is different. Most of us are remaining at our own tables with empty chairs beside us. Yet, this is also the season of hope. How blessed we are to be able to be safely at our tables with food before us. And here, wherever we are, the table is set and ready. The bread is warm and the drink is poured. And in God's grace, we are able to gather together from all corners of the world, apart, but together in Christ and this feast he has set before us. So come, pull up a chair, gather and know that you are in good company. Let us break bread together. Let us hope together. And let us reflect on the baby born so many years ago so that we may come to this very table. All are welcome at Christ's table. Everyone is welcome at Christ's table. Please join me in the affirmation of faith by repeating after me. We believe in God, creator of all things. We believe in God, creator of all things. The giver of life and breath. The giver of life and breath. We believe in Jesus Christ, born Emmanuel, God with us. We believe in Jesus Christ, born Emmanuel, God with us. Baptized and revealed as the beloved son of God. Baptized and revealed as the beloved son of God. Who sought to heal humanity. Who sought to heal humanity. By taking on our brokenness. By taking on our brokenness. Suffering and dying for us. Suffering and dying for us. And being raised from the dead for our sake. And being raised from the dead for our sake. We believe that Christ will come again. We believe that Christ will come again. We believe in spirit continually poured out in our lives. We believe in spirit continually poured out in our lives. Ever birthing the church, the body of Christ in the world. Ever birthing the church, the body of Christ in this world. This spirit is our sole companion and counselor of truth. This spirit is our sole companion and counselor of truth. Reminding us of the gift of hope. Reminding us of the gift of hope. And the eternal presence of God. And the eternal presence of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. God is with us. Christ is present here. The spirit moves within us. We are not alone. Let us give thanks to God. Let's pray. Blessings be to you, creator God, who in the beginning brought light and life to the world and who continues to bring love and light everlasting. Your song of wisdom echoes through the ages. Your ancient promise still brings us hope. Over the ages, you have called your people to embrace your hope and share your love. But even when they have closed their ears to the song, you did not stop singing. You sent prophets and messengers to your people, reminding them of the promised time of peace and justice that would surround the world. They came in the midst of our despair and filled us with hope. And then you came to a young woman named Mary and laid out the promise in a new way, promising her a son who would be called Jesus, promising her that in her son, the world would be changed. And now as we prepare for that child to be born, we echo the ancient cry, which still holds truth today. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O come, O come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Amen. Even now, as we prepare to celebrate his birth, we remember the life that this baby will live. We remember how he broke the bonds of human tradition to show all what the banquet of hope could be as he ate openly with the despised and the outcast of his world. And we remember one special meal, foretaste of the banquet that is to come that he ate with his closest friends, gathering them together in an upper room to share the story of liberation. He prepared them for their liberation. And at the end of the meal, he took bread, blessed and broke it, then passed it on to them saying, take and eat. This bread is the body of life broken by the world. Eat it in remembrance and in hope. After that, he took the cup. Blessed it and passed it to them saying, this cup is a sign of the new covenant. When you drink it, remember me, for I shall not eat or drink again until the time of the heavenly banquet. Remembering the birth of this child in the stable, we remember also his life, his death, and his resurrection, and look forward to his return and the coming reign of peace, love, and justice. Let's pray. Savior of hope, thank you for gathering us together at this table, for providing this meal, and for giving us the gift of each other and this family in you. As we partake in this meal, draw us together, connect us, and remind us that your hope is stronger than any darkness and can light every corner. Bless us, keep us safe, and nourish us with your grace. Amen. Amen.